we know that dexamethasone is a backbone of multiple myeloma therapy because this is part of almost every myeloma regimen. And dexamethasone uh, has especially uh, the highest doses, some strong immunosuppressive effect. And uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, I think the recommendation in multiple myeloma patients was about reducing the dose of dexamethasone or even uh, discontinue and stop dexamethasone in some patients. Now we have heard, we've seen recently uh, some interesting results suggesting that low doses of dexamethasone may be useful for treatment of the COVID-19 infection. I think we need to be careful and do not confuse or mix up things. Uh, Low-dose dexamethasone for treating COVID-19, we're talking about healthy patients, non-myeloma patients. So totally different story uh, to the myeloma uh, patient who usually have a very long history are highly immunocompromised. So for me, it's clearly important that we need to avoid any confusion between these two parameters. Uh, We're not using the same dosage. We're not using it for the same duration. We're not using dexamethasone in the same context. So these are totally two different stories and multiple myeloma patients should be extremely careful and really follow the recommendations and prescriptions of their physicians. 